Uh, hello traders, uh, hello traders. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening. Bonjour, bonsoir, mes amis. Good morning, good tag, good night. Uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 uh, uh, Traders. For general trading, our website is uh, www.stochasticmadi.com. For Elliott Wave Trading, uh, 24 Elliott Waves.com. For Fibonacci Trading and uh, Fractal Trading, www.dayprotraders.com. The title of this video is uh, How to Combine a Trading Volume and the consolidation. Today is the 4th of April 2014 and the time in London is 13.50 uh, in New York 8.50 a.m. How to combine a trading volume and a consolidation. All right. So on this chart, we can see that uh, there was a consolidation session here. This is the time when the price is not trending or what we like to call a balanced market period, all right, where there is an equal influence between the bulls and the bears. So you can see that the price was confined between the two levels, the resistance level here and the support level here. It's a consolidation phase. Now we want to combine the consolidation phase and okay, the trading volume. All right. So attention to the trading volume uh, during this uh, period. What I will do, bear with me, I will put some vertical line here uh, to highlight uh, the period of the consolidation. All right. So watch it carefully. All right. Watch this session of the trading volume here. What is happening here during the consolidation phase. Now, a lot of traders uh, find it very difficult to understand the trading volume. As I've said before in many of our videos, a trading volume is um, the total, okay, buying and selling activity, okay, of a financial instrument. So, for instance, uh, if during the day, okay, market participants have sold 1,000 shares of this stock staple, and there were also 2,000 selling activity, whatever it is. So we will add the 1,000 to the 2,000, that will make 3,000. This is the trading volume, the selling activity, and also the buying activity combined together. This is uh, what we call the trading volume. So, but, the confusion that usually takes place that traders, when they are looking at the red bars, they think that these are the sellers. And when they are looking at the green bars, they think that this is only uh, the buying activity. But no, the, the bar, each bar, even this one, during this time, there were sellers and there were buyers. Though we have green bars, there were buyers and there were also sellers. Here, as you can see, we have a red bar, red volume bar, they were sellers and they were buyers during that time. We are on the monthly charts. So before, during this, you can see during this month where we have this red, you see, it was a, a you see, an inverted doji here. So you can see that the price went up fast up to this level before being sold back down below the opening price level. So you can understand that uh, Yes, first there were buyers who wish uh, this buyer push the price to the, this, the highest point of this monthly candle. Are you with me? Yeah, are you? All right. And at the same time, there were sellers that came in and sell it again and push the price down below the opening price. So this volume bar, though it's red bar, is... Uh, combining okay the bullish activity and the bearish activity so we clarify this confusion because it's very important for traders to understand this thing so they stop messing up the market all right now next step how do we combine the trading volume and the consolidation the first thing we want to understand there are three market patterns okay now so this is the first recording today so 
I'm going to spend a bit of time to clarify a few things. So when we move to the next level, I don't have to dwell on it. I will go a little bit faster. So you can see here, hold on, please. Now, the, the price was going up first. You see in this session here, was going up nicely, displaying higher lows, higher high, before it start pausing, start slowing down. Now, the first market pattern is the rising channel when the price is in an uptrend. The second market pattern is the horizontal channel when the price is consolidating. This is a, a horizontal channel. And then the third market pattern is the declining channel when the price is displaying lower lows and lower highs. So during the consolidation phase, the price is pausing, is slowing down. When the price is pausing, very often the price is acknowledging a key resistance level, either on the chart or fundamentally speaking. So when we look at the balance sheet of a financial instrument, and we know that uh, the data is not very bullish, or the data is not very bearish, the market may consolidate, which means the market participants, okay, want to know, or are debating the next price move. So very often, we will see that when the price is consolidating, the price may consolidate around an equilibrium price level or around a key level, around a resistance level or around a support level. This is very important for us to understand. So this level here is a key level. That's why a very important level, either fundamental key level or technical a key level. So that's why the market will consolidate. We want to pay attention to the trading volume. As you can see on this chart, one moment please. Let's zoom into it, okay. We can see that uh, the volume was almost flat or uniform. You can see here, it was just uh, not going above, uh, okay, this uh, horizontal line. And suddenly we see a surge in trading volume. This is very important for us. Whenever we are using the trading volume, we want to see a surge in trading volume. This is alerting us that there is a change, okay, in the market sentiment. Why suddenly people are more willing to participate in this financial instrument? Why we have more trading activity? We want to know. So the first steps, ladies and gentlemen, during the consolidation phase, we know that first the, there was no surge in trading volume. Now we see a huge interest in this stock. The stock that we are looking at now is called Staples. Staples. The epic is the Sierra Papa Lima Sierra SPLS, listed on the Nasdaq 100. Now, in fact, I like American stock and I trade American stock, though I live in London. Now, so we see a huge uh, interest in these stocks. We want to know why. Right? So the market was consolidating, which means the price is acknowledging a key level. All right? either a fundamental key level or a technical key level, okay? So suddenly, this uh, balance market, though the price did not break out of the consolidation session yet, there is a surge in trading volume. This is alerting us that soon we may have an imbalance market because the consolidation phase is uh, a balance period. So we see a surge in trading volume after a normal okay volume period you see here almost same level in range like this now we see a breakout of trading volume but the price is not yet out of the consolidation zone these traders here where i was telling you about this red bar they anticipate that the price will break out you see the price went above it but quickly was pushed back down because majority of market participants, they were trading, they were swing trading between these two levels. So traders were selling at the resistance level and were taking profits at the support level. But as the price pushes quickly above, okay, the consolidation session for the first time, you can see that all the session didn't go above it, but for the first time, it break above it, but still there were sellers at this point in time, they pushed the price back down. But for the second time, you see when the price goes back above that resistance level, it did not go back below it. But this volume bar here is telling us that 
there is a high chance that a prime may, ladies and gentlemen, this is about probability, all right? We see traders are looking for some formula that can just uh, buy and sell for them. That's not exist. We want to understand what is taking place and follow the trend, all right? So the price has a high chance to break out or to break down. Why? Now, some trader will say break out. The price will not break out if the fundamentals are not solid. So we want to check the balance sheet, all right? The first thing one will check two things. Myself, I quickly check on the balance sheet, all right? The current assets and the current liability, all right? We want the current asset to be either three times at least, all right, okay? The, the current liability or at least to be higher than the current liability. Because if a company cannot pay their short-term debt, they are under pressure. They are likely to close down, all right? So this is the what we call the acid test, when we are looking at a balance sheet, we must check the current asset and compare it to the current liability. Very, very important for them because if the company need to pay their debt, they must liquidate their current assets very quickly so they can pay their short-term debt and remain in business. There are other things that we check. So though we are here, we see this, um, all right, we see this not all about technical trading alone, it's about technical and a fundamental Google Finance, Yahoo Finance. All right, this is the best approach. So we see this, we know that there's a surge in trading volume. People are more interested in this talk. Now, the next thing we will do, we go to Google Finance. Now we tap in the EPIC for this uh, staple, SPLS. We want to know, well, what's happening? The economy news, uh, the, the, the strategy they are using, the, 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 the sector to which this uh, staple belongs, what's going on in that sector, and we do our due diligence, all right? Very important. I don't want the video to be too long, so I don't want to go deeply into fundamental analysis here. So we must check the fundamentals. The fundamental will support our technical, okay, analysis, because here we have a technical indication that there is a surge in trading activity in this stock, though there is the no breakout, we want to know whether this is a viable financial instrument, a viable company, a dynamic management in place that is willing to, to propel this company to the highest level. Once we are satisfied that this company is solid, they have an excellent product, they, they are likely to gain more market share, all right? We are prepared to be bullish, all right? But as a technical trader, when we see how do we combine the technical, the, 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 the consolidation phase and the trading volume, when we see, pay attention carefully, when we see a surge in trading volume like this, myself, if I want to buy after checking the fundamental, remember, the first thing I'm looking for is the first higher low above the consolidation zone. If I want to sell, I will look for the first lower high below the consolidation zone. It's just very simple because there is a surge in trading volume. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a huge interest in the stock, either buying, huge interest to sell, or huge interest to buy. Do not discount the interest to sell. Sometimes there is a huge interest to sell. Sometimes there is a huge interest to buy. Some traders think that people are buying all the time. People are not buying all the time. All right? So, when we see a first higher low, after a huge interest like this, I will use my TSTWSY08 to participate in the trade. A very simple trading tool for myself. I will use that, or one can use a value trading system to enter the trade. If you are a fundamental trader, you do your verification, you want to buy and hold in your portfolio, well, you, you can buy and hold it, Okay, and leave it on your portfolio so you are not uh, being disturbed by the, 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 the short-term fluctuation of the financial instrument. All right, recently I saw the uh, one financial share that I bought uh, nearly 10 years, I hold it for 10 years, I saw it recently. So sometimes one can buy and hold for a long period of time and leave it and know that the future prospect for that financial aid long term, okay? A target price is bullish, one will buy and hold, all right? So 
For technical speaking, as we see a surge in trading volume during the consolidation phase, provided, repeat, provided that the, console, the volume was uh, uniform before, you know, almost equal at this, this is what we want to see. The volume was almost uniform, and then we see a surge in trading volume. These are the conditions that we want to verify. Now, if you want to buy, we must check the fundamental. Second condition, very important, Google Finance, Yahoo Finance. All right, read the economy news, Bloomberg, Financial Times, relating to the financial instrument that we want to trade. We can check the sector to which the financial instrument belongs to, the management, okay? After that, technically speaking, we are looking for the first higher low. When we see the first higher low, this is the setup. Ladies and gentlemen, the price can go up and go down. But one should know if a signal has failed. This is one of the, the difference between a, final, a professional traders and the ordinary traders. When a trade has failed, one do not have to hold on to the trade. One will come out straight away to cut the losses. All right? <laughs> All right? Very important. All right? Very important. Very important. Do I'm, to I'm talking like this? I'm very serious. So when we see the first higher low, this is the setup. We must now follow what we call the trading drill. Now, the trading drill is about the setup. Then we wait for the signal on another time frame. So this is the setup on what we time frame on the monthly charts. We will wait for the signal on the signal time frame. All right. And then we will enter the trade on the entry time frame. When we enter the trade, we must manage the trade. So to combine a, a, the trading volume and the consolidation, one is looking for the pattern where the volume is uniform. Then we see a surge in trading volume. As we see a surge in trading volume, we know that there is okay, an interest in this stock, either buying or selling. We must now check the fundamental. If we want to buy, and the fundamental are solid, and the future prospect, the market itself, talking about the trading triangle, the market itself is bullish, we want, we want to align the financial instrument with the market. This is another thing, all right? Trading triangle is different from the trading drill. Now we are talking about the trading drill, but we shouldn't forget also the trading triangle. So the first higher low, so surging trading volume, then we see a first higher low. The price is the number one indicator indicating to us after a consolidation, the first higher low, we want to be bullish, but we must check the fundamental but use a top-down trading method so we can manage the trade. If the trade has failed, we just come out. We don't want to fight the market. <laughs> we don't want to be arrogant. We want to be humble, all right? So you see now, so a surge in trading volume during the consolidation phase, so you see, that the top, boom, surge. Now, you, you may be smiling and what you do, look how many months it took this setup to be ready. So this was happening here. Look how many months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. More than a year before, more than a year, a year and a half almost before we see the first high low. So sometimes we, we have to put this stock on a watch list, all right? And just watch it and wait and uh, follow the news and see what's going on. You can see that traders that push it up here, probably these are fundamental traders. They were satisfied with the fundamental. Another thing I need to mention here, we have, to, we have to understand what was taking place. Before the consolidation, the price was going up. Yes or no? It was going up. So this is uh, one of the continuation patterns. So the price was going up. So during that period, okay, the price was displaying high lows, high high. Suddenly, we see a period of consolidation, which is this session here. The dominant force in the market so far is bullish. So we don't want to fight the dominant force. We don't want to fight them. The only time, ladies and gentlemen, we can challenge the dominant force is when the price reaches a convergent point. If you want to know what is a convergent point, go to www.stochasticmagin.com, click on Convergence Signal. The only time that we challenge the dominant force is when the price reaches a convergent point or the price break below, all right? The trend line, all right? So here, the only time that we will challenge these bulls is when the price did below, the trend line, it, it did not, it just went horizontal. So we cannot challenge the dominant force. So the dominant force being bullish, 
Now the market is pausing, acknowledging the key level because the price went up from A to B, acknowledging the B session. Now we see now a surge in trading volume, alerting us that the price has a high chance to, to change direction, either to continue the previous uh, uh, trend or to reverse completely. So we do not want to discount and say, I'm bullish, I'm bearish. All we are waiting for is to wait for the price to give us the direction. And here it gave us the higher low. In that case, we want to be bullish. After this higher low, there was another one here. All right, we want to be bullish. All right, this is what is taking place here. So you see now, this is how one can combine the trading volume and the consolidation. Once we know this, this is very important, and trader will get very excited about it. So the trading volume all right, is the combined bullish and bearish activity in the market. In this case, we were talking about the staple stock listed on the NAX 100. Now, there was a consolidation, but before the consolidation, the market was bullish. The price was going up. The dominant force bullish. The trailer was not broken. Price display high or low. After consolidation, we want to buy. Doesn't mean that the sometimes people will say there was there are sometimes false breakouts. Why sometimes we have a false breakout? The price break above a resistance level, but if the fundamentals are poor, then the price will crash down. Very often you see that. People will the, the purest technical traders may see a breakout on their chart. But if the fundamentals are weak and the, the company is not making any money, they are under pressure, the breakout will be a false breakout. The smart market participant will sell instead. On the other hand, sometimes a price may break below the consolidation session, all right? And people will say this is a breakdown. But if the fundamentals are sound and solid, the company is viable and also the price is discounted, <laughs> the smart traders, the smart investor will buy instead. This sometimes trader will call a false breakdown. But this is just because it's a conflict between the fundamental traders and the technical traders looking at different things. Technical traders looking at the chart, fundamental traders looking at the real activity of the business. That's why I recommend to traders to combine the technical and the fundamental. Right? It makes sense. It is also powerful. For instance, if you want to sell, in this case it was bullish, if you want to sell, we will look for the first lower high, which means the price will be below uh, this level, the consolidation session, and display the first lower high. The first lower high will be our setup. We will use the trading drill the setup, the signal, and the low risk entry point to enter the trade. We're just going step by step, keeping eyes on the price. But the trading volume here has alerted us. You look at this. Pay attention, all right? So where I put the horizontal line, okay? The trading volume was around uh, 157 million shares being traded during this uh, period where I put the horizontal session, 157 million shares. That's the maximum. Now, from 157 million share average uh, monthly, okay, trading activity, suddenly we see the huge uh, interest in this stock. And uh, during this uh, particular month, we had uh, up to uh, uh, 428 million share being uh, uh, traded for this uh, stable stock. Now, this is crazy because, look, a company that had uh, a share of, uh, a trading volume of 157, suddenly this huge interest of 425 million share being uh, trade. <laughs> you, you must be crazy not to, to, to wake up to this uh, information. Now, the next step is to know what's going on. Why suddenly, you see now, why suddenly there's this huge interest. But the beauty of this setup by combining the, 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 the consolidation and the trading volume is that the market was pausing. So either there will be a breakout or a breakdown. So we want to catch it. And the first high low for catching the bullish okay, trend and the first lower high to catch the bearish trend without violating okay, the market patterns. So from the monthly chart, we'll go to the signal time frame, and from the signal time frame, we go 
to the entry time frame using the TSEWS wise, use your eight. Or if you want to buy and hold in our portfolio, we do our due diligence. We can use what we call a, a, the long term equilibrium price level uh, to know exactly what is the best price to enter uh, the market. I hope you have learned something from this video and uh, we put it to use okay to make excellent decision this is about how to combine okay the trading volume and the consolidation until the next time enjoy yourself and be very happy we are the gstw sys 008 traders speak to you soon